Friends, brothers and sisters, uh, we will start the program and we are all blessed to have as our first speaker, Fred Norman. Fred Norman was a B-47 navigator and bombardier in the early 1960s. The B-47 carried nuclear weapons. Fred's uh, main target then was Vladivostok in Russia. Now, Fred's main target is ending war with words instead of bombs. Uh, we meet here today outside these fences that hide what Daniel Ellsberg calls the American doomsday machine. But what exactly is a doomsday machine? To answer that question, I highly recommend that you read Ellsberg's recently published book, The Doomsday Machine. I have. It changed my life. The title has a Dr. Strangelove feel to it, Doomsday Machine. And indeed, it is pure strange love, a machine that, of human beings who have learned to love the bomb, a large group of men and women working together to develop and deploy nuclear weapons that when detonated en masse in the same close time period as in a war, may well destroy all life on Earth. Another way to think of it is as a nuclear winter a winter not followed by spring, a cold and sunless winter in which everything dies. I once was part of that doomsday machine. Ellsberg writes, quote, an American doomsday machine already existed in 1961 and had for years in the form of our pre-targeted bombers on alert in the Strategic Air Command, SAC, well, I joined SAC in 1961 as a B-47 navigator bombardier. I carried nukes. My targets were Russian cities, primarily Vladivostok. I was ready to do my duty. If the klaxon had sounded, I would have killed every man, woman, and child in Vladivostok, a city then of around 250,000 souls. And I would not have hesitated. Oh, the immorality of it all. My actions would have been merely part of a coordinated effort by thousands of other bomber crews. Now, to add to the horror, there are ICBMs and submarine launched Triton missiles. Then there was only one doomsday machine, ours. Now there are two, ours and Russia's. Would mine have been able to destroy all human life on Earth in the early 1960s? Perhaps. Given the right conditions? Quite possibly. And now, would two machines be enough to destroy all us all? to bring on a nuclear winter. Well, the madmen who are working on these bombs may eventually reach that goal, or they may already have succeeded. On the other side of this fence, a small group of men and women work diligently toward that goal, designing and testing bomb components. They designed and tested parts of my bombs back in the day, and they continue that type of work today. Without them, we would have no nuclear bombs, and there would be no bombardiers to drop them. There would have been no B-47s. The B-47 is a swept-wing, six-engine, 100,000-pound nuclear bomb-carrying, low-level bombing, 
with a crew of three. The pilot and co-pilot sit in tandem in the cockpit and the navigator bombardier sits in the very nose of the plane. It has one purpose, to kill people. There would have been no boring 24-hour alerts waiting for madmen to play their macabre games of death. There would have been no bombing checklists. I'll close here with an abbreviated version of a much larger poem I wrote based on my checklist for bombing Vladivostok. Picture the flight as having taken hours. Finally, the target is within range. The co-pilot and bombardier then work through a checklist to prepare for the drop. Switches are set, data are recorded, radar coordinates, coordinate and co crosshairs are positioned on the target. Bombs away and the people of Vladivostok are all dead. I have saved the world. Returning to the checklist, bomb doors, the co-pilot calls. Closed, I reply. Bomb power switch off, light off. Bomb nose fuse arming switch, safe. Safe, for the people of Vladivostok are all dead and I have saved the world. An angel descends to earth and sits down next to death in a pile of charred and smoking flesh. I am, the angel said, comfortable among the carnage, one minute closer to you than I was a minute ago. Indeed, said death, we are soon to be as one. Safe for the people of Hiroshima are all dead. Safe for the people of Nagasaki are all dead. And finally, if it matters to anybody here, safe for the people of Livermore are all dead. I have saved the world. I am a hero. Thank me for my service. Oh, 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 oh,